Welcome back viewers. Today I'm going to show you another fascinating Grand Theft Auto San Andreas mod. Not really fascinating, but I just wanted to doctor it out just to make it feel special today. I feel uh, special because I'm on break and I've been doing a lot of work and that's why I haven't been posting any videos on how to do anything. I've really been doing a lot of slave work around my house. Um, just the joys of being a homeowner. So, today we're going to show you a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas mod. Now, to do these mods, you must be jailbroken, have an iOS device, have Grand Theft Auto installed, iFile installed, and today we're going to show you how to make a vehicle fly. Now, in the game, I'm in a vehicle called a Broadway, so I'm going to show you how to make the specific vehicle fly. You must know which vehicle you want to change to be able to fly. So, I'm just doing something simple as an example. I'm already in the Broadway, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So, to make the vehicle fly, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the applications. We're going to find San, San, excuse me. We're gonna find San Andreas, and then we're going to open up the San Andreas app file. From there, we're going to scroll all the way down or hit the search button, which I don't have because I don't have the paid version of iFile. So, now we're going to go all the way down, and we're going to find Vehicles IDE. Now, you can see I already made a copy from one of my previous videos where I have Vehicles.IDEE. -E. Now that's a copy, if I make any mistakes, I strongly suggest any file that you modify, you always make a copy of the file you're modifying. Because if you make a mistake, you're screwed. You have to delete your whole entire game, start all over. So we're going to get back into the tutorial here of how to make a vehicle fly. Now I'm in the Broadway, which I think is like 573. So we're going to scroll down, we're going to find vehicle number 573 and I was wrong, it was 575 so we're gonna enter the Broadway now we're gonna change it from car to heli now that's a big mistake because it must not be caps locks or have any capitals in it so we're gonna change that to a heli now we're gonna change it into Maverick now when I change the handling ID to Maverick I must be all caps so now that this is white with an arrow, I want to type in Maverick in all caps. Now that should be the same. And then I save. And we're going to go find 575 again and make sure that I adjusted the file. So there's Heli, there's Maverick. So now we're going to scroll up. And we're going to find a Maverick. I know I should have figured out what number this was ahead of time because I don't have the search feature because I don't have the paid version of iFile. So just to be sure that I spelled Maverick correct, I'm going to go look and see if I have... Where is the cargo box? I should be close. The spelling right. So as we're going up through the file, eventually, we will find the Maverick. And I will be sure if I spelled it right, which I should have did this ahead of, uh, ahead of time. Shame on me. Yeah, that thing just skipped on me because there's a cargo bob again, so I see what's happening. Alright, so forget about it. We'll say that that's spelled right, and we'll find out if we have this wrong. If not, we'll do the video over again. So once we have this file saved, and it's edited, and we actually can go back and close out all our programs, including iFile, and then we can go in to open up San Andreas. From San Andreas, you'll see that I'm already in the Maverick, and it should be set up as a helicopter. And now that I changed it to a heli, and changed the handling to a Maverick, now the handling's changed. Now when I resume the game, I should automatically end up be in the Broadway, and it should be lift off. So as the game's loading, you'll see, and I strongly suggest, check out my other videos. There should be some pretty cool stuff that you can play on there in the meantime until I get another video up. I, I'm really not sure what my next video will be. It's, it's hard to tell with a lot of the responsibilities that I handle with. So now you see that there is the chopper on the car that's a Broadway so we're gonna step out of that and let you see that you know hey that is the Broadway so we're gonna jump in it there's the Broadway so now when I hit the gas it should fly and there you have it 
you now have a flying car. And you can do this with any car that you choose or wish to do so with. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you can't shoot out of the vehicle, but still, it's pretty neat that you could fly a car. I mean, you could pick certain cars, and you can even mess with the popo, have all the cop cars be flying cars, so how are they really going to chase you down when they're handling it set as a flying car, so there really won't be nothing you could do to get arrested if the cops can't really drive or chase after you because their vehicle now flies. So it's it's for you to decipher the pick and play or however you want to use this mod or however you want to have fun with it whether it be for yourself or for other pedestrians or other behaviors of the game like the cops or the FIB or the, the rangers, the military, anything. You could even make a tank fly. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you, you like the modification that I'm showing you today. And Please like, subscribe, feel free to check out my other videos. There's a lot of neat, fun, cool mods that I, I've showed you guys in the past. If you've already seen it, thank you so much for watching. I really apologize for the videos being so long. It's just that one file is so much that I could show you in that and for me to show you all the files would just be outright scrutiny of hours and hours of video so I'm trying to break it out to you guys as best as I can so enjoy thank you for watching hope you liked it if you have any questions comments please comment below you know as always please like share subscribe and if you have any suggestions if you have any suggestions comment below and I'll, I'll see what I can do to, you know, helping your suggestion out and make it a video pertaining to what you'd like to do with the game. If I can't figure it out, I'll comment back to you in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed.